Okay, let's go check it out. Okay, so it's not like Skyrim where you pick flowers. At least not those things. And there's a dead body. Ooh. Hatchet. With a, uh... This guy. Resident. Shovel. You guys came out here with just a, a hatchet and a shovel? Okay. Uh. Whoops. Okay, so let's... Oh, I have a sword. And a staff. Okay, looks good. How do I... Okay, there's that. Am I able to cycle through them? Okay, melee. Oh, triangle. There we go. And then hold triangle. Okay. Tall king tree. Oh, sorry, it's it's like three in the morning right now. Just go to sleep. And there's fall damage, which I should have already known. Roger, spoon. some residents. Hey, look at this. And to heal, it was... Oh, I have regenerating health. Okay, cool. But to heal, I think it was L1. Also has its own ring. God damn! How many fucking planet moons are around here? Oh, this looks like a thing of just stone, I guess. Okay, graveyards. Whoa! Hey, where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. I just came from there. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise through the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. What the fuck? Why is everyone like a fucking walking billboard? Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Okay, enough of you guys. Let's go, uh, check out Edgewater. Probably put my 
gun away, right? Which I thought I already did. Anyway. Through here, I guess. monkey argo seems we've got a guest yes really now parvati i do wish you'd spoken up i do apologize i was given no forewarning of your arrival or i might have welcomed you at the gates myself i'm reed thompson outpost administrator i cannot help but notice you are not in uniform of course not i don't have that kind of luck Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we've got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Good deal. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. <laughs> the people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. In other words, try not to kill them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Okay. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great! I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so... I'm all set! Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Okay, I have a companion. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay, but will she... Okay, she's in. Oh, 
cobalt. Or wait. Hey, this mister, is... can we talk? Sorry. You got a sec? Yeah, Jesus. Sorry. But you'd want to exit the elevator. You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just, Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Can't say as I know, I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt, if you can get out to her. I don't know anybody well. I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Okay. Let's go talk to this vicar, which I take it he's this way. I'm sorry, I'll just be oh, probably this. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. I think I know the way out of town. But what? I thought you would talk to him. <laughs> you wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Oh, my intelligence too low. 
Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Okay. So we need to look for a book. We need to look for the geothermal plant. Uh, basically a lot of things. Okay. Uh, let's check out the companion. Can I... Well, she has her own... Uh, thing. Her gun does more damage than mine. Okay, so she's uh she's set up. Okay, my gun is out. I guess that's automatic. pretty far away also there's is that in the lava I can get into that volcano. She keeping up? Yeah, cool. What is this? Is that like a small town? outside Edgewater. heal her at all something you need that 
guilt on account of how I never met her. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Well, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. And look at that, full health. The power of words heals people. What is that? Emerald Veil vale Community Center. Oh, there's a marauder right there. Should I check out that community center? Let's try to get in closer. Oh, there's another one right there. God damn. I'm ready for this. Gun. Let's take that trip blade. What just happened? Did I level up? Community center, maybe later. Although I do want to check. Oh, right, this stuff. Guns up. Um, no, uh, apply. Item repair. Where's Says condition 100%. Am I missing something? Oh. 69.4, 98.3. How do I repair it? right here. I expect there's going to be trouble. Ooh, I should save it. Okay, sneaky sneaky. Oh, I've got some dead people over here. Assault rifle. Okay, definitely at that, but can I switch them? Oops. Don't have a lot of ammo for it though. I'll just stick with the handgun. Yeah. 
along, stranger. We what? don't want any trouble. Will they attack on sight? Maybe I could talk. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Well, look at you, buzzing around the Aether with your very own ship. <laughs> Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Damn. Appreciate it. Honest. Okay. I... Is this... 